I'm here with old Betsy today, the uh, Ford 8N, and today we're going to be doing a carburetor adjustment. This is due to changing out that carburetor a couple months ago, or a couple weeks ago, and uh, never getting around to actually getting carburetor adjusted for that. Uh, so. The carburetor adjustments are the main adjustment needle, the throttle adjustment screw, and the idle adjustment needle. Sometimes those are called the main jet adjustment, the idle air adjustment, and the idle speed adjustment. Right. Uh, main adjustment needle should be open one and three quarter turns from the closed position. So we have a little notch right here coming basically straight towards us. one turn and about three quarters of a turn a quick filled method check of uh, ensuring that this is done correctly is start the tractor up um, with a partial load um, going uh, increase the throttle setting um, rapidly the engine should not cough or hesitate or anything like that. If it does, we'll go and step that up about eighth of a turn and then recheck it. Keep doing it until we don't have any hesitation. I did learn a few things. When you get a brand new carburetor, you may have an issue with having no fuel. Uh, whenever these things sit for a really long time, the um, fuel needle uh, can possibly get wedged up uh, stopping fuel flow depending on how the carburetor is sitting in storage um, with that you have to take the, the bowl off pull the needle out and usually you can just put it right back in put the bowl back on and it's good to go so let's try getting back to actually starting this thing up so Clutch down, key on, in neutral, choke out, and I've ran out of hands, and this button right here. So we adjusted the main adjustment needle until she operates fairly smoothly whenever you go and uh, just blip that throttle pretty decent as you saw. I don't know if you're able to hear anything I said. When the hand throttle is in the idle position, the engine should be running at about 400 RPM. Uh, we're going to be basing that off of the PTO where the engine speed is 2.75 times the PTO speed. Yeah, these tractors don't have tachometers. You, you got to gauge it off of the PTO. Analog ones that the owner's manual says, and spend a lot more than Mrs. Tibbs was allowing me to spend. We went with the digital one, which I believe we picked up for under thirty dollars. So let me get to that and show what speed the engine's at right now.
So I was not able to get down to the 400 RPMs that the book says. Um, I was looking for 145 RPMs on the PTO. As you saw, I was able to get down to about 180. Uh, anything beyond that and it just kept stalling out. Um, it's a little too low for this particular tractor right here. Um, may need to get back in and tweak some other things or maybe maybe that's a sign that the engine is possibly in need of a rebuild who knows if this thing's ever been rebuilt might not have the compression it was only six to one compression ratio from the factory but i don't know um got it dialed in the best i can um, kind of losing daylight, so I'm not going to drive it around and see how she operates that way, but y'all can see she runs, um, as close to the owner's manual as I can get it. I'm happy, um, doing a lot better than she was with the old carburetor. Uh, so go ahead and hit that like button if you're not subscribed. I know most of you guys aren't subscribed. Only about 10% of y'all are actually subscribed. So if you keep coming back, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Right about here should be another video for y'all to watch. And as always, have a great day.